Ladies and gentlemen, what's up, motherfuckers? This is Big Dog in the motherfucking house kicking you the real deal. Another podcast. Let's get right to it. Let's not sugarcoat anything and tell you like it is. What are we always complaining about? What are we always complaining about? We are always complaining about something. The most insignificant things in this world. Can anyone give me an example of what we're always complaining about? And it's the dumbest thing. Sometimes it's relationships. Sometimes it's our job. Sometimes it's work. Sometimes we wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Not every day is going to be a good day. Yes, we have 365 days in the year. And not every day is going to be good. But one thing I do know is every day that we wake up, we should thank the Lord that we are alive and thank the Lord for another glorious day, no matter what the situation is. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. And the question is, what do you care what others think about you? You see, you got two types of things that go on in this world. You got people who talk good about you. And people who talk shit about you. Who gives a fuck if people talk shit about you? There is one thing I can tell you. That whether they're talking good or they're talking bad about you. They're talking. And that means you are a productive person. That means you are very special. And if you're very special. That means the devil wants something from you. Do you know what that is? That is you. He wants what you have. And that is happiness, love, joy, and all the great phenomenal intangibles that you carry deep within your soul. And those are the people out there. People don't like to see when you're happy. People don't like to see when you have a smile on your face. People don't like to see when you're doing good. So you know what I tell you with all that and all those intangibles? I tell you to work in silence. Let your silence take over. Let your actions speak for themselves. And don't worry what others are doing. Don't worry what others are talking about. Because at the end of the day, as long as you go home and you put your head on that beautiful pillow and you rest your head and you feel great and feel phenomenal, that's all that truly fucking matters. You see... Always people come and they always start the beginning on the right note. They always start the beginning on the right path. And they all start with a conversation. They all start with communication. And when they get the information that they were looking for or the information that they needed to benefit themselves, they start to walk away very slowly. And then they move on to the next person. And the same thing. They move on to the next person, the next person, and the next person. And why all of those people in that circle are watching, they see that that person has moved from one to one to one to one. And they keep on moving all the way down to the very end until they come back full circle, right back to where they started. Why? You see? They take a look at what you're doing. And when you stop paying attention to them, they move on. Now that they start seeing change, since we're talking about this uh, industry that we're in, in the health and fitness industry, they see that you look normal. Then they start to see your changes. Then they start to see you're progressively changing more and more every minute. They come back around asking questions but they've already asked from the beginning and now that they've come full circle back to where they started they don't even get the answer anymore you see what they do now is they say hey when you think we can work out together and you know what your answer should be never because when they had the opportunity they didn't take up that chance to do those things see guys i want you guys to understand 
Now, whatever profession you're in, whatever that you do, no matter what it is, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what profession you are in. If you specialize in something, charge for it. Why? Because that is your time taken away from your schedule to help someone else. There's things that we do to lend a helping hand. There's information that we can help with. There's things that we can do for free, but then there's also things that we charge for. And valuable information that you obviously have with your background, with whatever you're doing, with whatever it is, whatever your profession is, I agree that you should charge for that information. There's things like I repeat it to you. You can help with, you can give ideas, look, you can do this, you can do that, you know, you can go about this way, that way. Now, when it becomes taking up your time from what your normal day schedule is to help that other person is when you automatically need to charge for that. It's like a doctor, a lawyer, a personal trainer, etc. That information you studied, that information someone else wants, someone else needs your guidance, and that's where you take the time and effort to guide that person with a price. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Now, when people don't get the information that they want, they leave because everyone thinks that everything is free and it's not. That's why you are in the profession that you're in. And I don't want you guys to get upset. I don't want you guys to say, you know, that person's a piece of shit or whatever. No, 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 no. Listen, that's how the world is. That's how it's always going to be. And people are always going to look for how they can benefit themselves, how they can help themselves and how they can change themselves. Okay. It is your choice to either go on that path and help that person. But just remember that once you stop helping that person and it takes up your time and it takes up time away from your family it takes away time from the other things that you want to do in life and you stop helping that person remember that that person is automatically going to what do they do talk shit and that's normal it's just how it is people tend to talk shit because they didn't get what they wanted and people always want want and want and they want more 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 and more they're always going to want more and like i said in one of my other uh podcast you can do three three thousand seven hundred and fifty six thousand good things and one bad thing that you do they will hold you accountable for and that is how life is you need to brush that shit off you need to surround yourself around good people you need to do the things that you want to do in your life you need to not stress so much about what people are saying just know that if someone is talking, it is for your benefit. You know why? Because the majority of the people out there, when they hear one person talk shit and continuously talk shit and talk shit and talk shit and start telling millions of people, they automatically want to find out about that person. They're going to say, well, you know, if that person's talking shit about that person, I want to know why. Because curiosity killed the cat. And people are curious, so they want to find out. And then when they find out for themselves that, wow, this person's actually good, they go back to that person and tell them, bro, you're full of shit, bro. That person is honest. That person is straightforward. That person kicks you the real deal without bullshitting you. But the majority of the people out there want to hear what they want to hear. They want to hear the good things. They don't want to hear the bad things. You see, I like when people tell me my mistakes. I like when people tell me my flaws. I like when people kick me the real deal. Because if I'm going to ask a question, I want the answer to it. And I want you to tell me whether it's good or bad so that I know what I can fix to better myself. And that's how we should all be. But unfortunately, that's not how we all are. We want to hear the sweet music in our ears. And we want to hear only good things. We don't want to hear the bad things. But let me tell you something. When you have friends... When you have just regular random people and you can kick yourselves the real deal and tell it like it is and not sugarcoat shit and they accept the good, the bad, the ugly, no matter what it is, then you can consider that person a friend. You can consider that person to be a person with an open arms, with an open book, you know, a person who's not judgmental. They want to hear everything like me. I like to hear everyone's opinions. I like to hear everyone's output. I like to listen to everything that's going on because I want to see how I can help the next person. I want to see how maybe out of the million people I can change one mind. 
You see, you don't need to change a million people's minds. All you need to do is change one person's mind. That's the most important thing and that's the most valuable thing in this world. If you can just help that one person, not everybody wants to be helped. Not everyone is going to like you. Not everyone is going to hate you. Not everyone's going to be judgmental towards you. There is people who are going to judge you. There is people who are going to hate you. But that is the way life works. That is the greatest thing about this world. That is the most phenomenal thing that you can see the balance the, from the good and from the bad. You can see how people act. You can see how people change. The, to me, that is the most phenomenal thing. Trying to analyze and just sitting back and just watching and just watching how everything opens up. You see, you can have a person. I'm going to give you an example. You can, you can be helping a person. You go, you train that person, you see that person every day, you say, hi, how are you, build a relationship, everything. Now, the person is trying to do something and they're trying to be silent, which is phenomenal. But their silence starts becoming so silent that they don't speak to you anymore. And you, and you know what's sad about that is that you're not judging and you're not asking and you're not worrying about what the person is going to do. Maybe you can help the person. Maybe you can give the person advice. Maybe you can help the person fall into the right footsteps, go into the right path. But that person now wants to push you to the side, doesn't want to speak anymore, says, just says hi from a distance because they feel that it's going to affect you. I don't really know how something is going to affect you because there's so much room in this world for everyone to eat and there's so much space in this world that we can all grow together. You know what's funny is that you can have you can have multiple gyms. And sometimes people come and they talk about this one and that one and this one and that one, right? And what's funny is is that at the end of the day things come full circle and we obviously all know each other you see i'm going to use him as an example my boy take it to the gym okay he comes and he supports everyone he supports everyone's cause as i support his cause i support take it to the gym and he supports me and he supports other gyms and he goes to other places you see there's room for everyone to eat and, and at the end of the day we're all friends we go to a show that's what makes me laugh we go to a show and we see each other you see i got my friend at Miami Iron, George, and then I'm his friend. And why don't why don't we go and imagine if we put up everybody's banner? Then what is everyone gonna gonna feel and see? Everyone's gonna say, "What the fuck?" Yeah, what the fuck? We support each other. That's what this is all about. This is not about whose place is better than the next person and the next person and the next person. This is all a family thing. This is we all come together for a, a common cause. We come to help others, to change others. One is in, in, in but fuck Egypt. The other one is and God knows where they're at. And everyone is distant from each other. It's not like everyone is right next door to each other. We're all in different locations. We're all in different places. And if we would all support each other, do you know how phenomenal this world would be? If we would all, the same way we watch movies and, and we tell everyone, yo, you got to watch this movie, you got to watch this movie, you got to watch this movie, and 50 million fucking people watch the movie. Can you imagine how phenomenal it would be if we would all support each other? If we would all come together and say, bro, you got to go check out this gym. Bro, you got to go check out this guy's gym. And we all work together. That would be so fucking beautiful. But so many fucking people out there are always bashing other people. When you know what, I give a lot of respect to every motherfucking owner out there because it's hard to be an owner. First of all, you don't know what goes into building the motherfucking business, the time, the effort, the money, the idea, the blood, sweat, and tears, building it, creating it. This goes to, for everyone and any business that you're doing. You see, you nitpick at different people you come to a place to check it out then you talk shit about it but you don't even have it you see that's what's the funny part about it you go somewhere you talk bad about it and then i can go and tell you, you know what that's my boy that's my boy's place that's my boy's business and then you're like oh shit you just put your fucking own foot in your own fucking mouth because at the end of the day we're all friends bro we all support each other bro 
That's what life is about. It's taking care of everybody. I, I was building this place because we already had it somewhere else. And I was building this a bigger location for our customers. But I was supporting my other boys. I was going in the middle of the night to Miami Iron. I was going to Iron Flex. I was going to LA Fitness. I was going to my friend's gym, Heinz Gym. I was going to every motherfucking gym because I support their cause and I support everyone because at the end of the day, we all are in it for the same reason. And it's to help others. It's to build a community. It's to build a friendship. That's what this place is about. That's what this is all about. It's about building unity together, making you feel good about each other, not bashing other people, not talking shit about other people and none of those things because we're all in it for the same thing and we're all trying to make a living. We're all trying to progress. We're all trying to grow. Can you imagine if we were all like that? We would all be like an LA Fitness. We would all be like a Planet Fitness. We would all be like a youth. It would be humongous. But we're not. We're independent family private businesses trying to make a living and trying to grow and trying to build a relationship with our community, with our fans, with our customers, etc. Coming up with new ideas, making things, shirts, clothes, this, that, hats, you know, towels, everything. Trying to support our community so we support each other. So there shouldn't be about bashing anyone or, oh, this is too small or that's that. But that's for your preference. That's for your preference. If that's what the person's got, that's what he's got to work with. If everyone could be humongous, we would. If everyone can grow and have an 80,000 square foot place where we would. But it takes time. It takes patience. It takes effort. It takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And a lot of people like to give their opinion on what they should and shouldn't do that's what makes me laugh about people everyone is always out there trying to tell you what you should and shouldn't do if you were to tell me now there's a lot of things that are good to take in and a lot of opinions are phenomenal to listen to because it can help your business grow and then there's things that are just ridiculous with some some of the shit that comes out of people's mouths you know i tell you it's black and white it, there's good things and there's bad things there's good people there's bad people there's shit that sometimes comes and, and you, you don't respond guys you don't you don't give the pleasure to give the response back to that person take what is useful and what's not useful don't use it because if it was some of the shit that people tell you then everyone would have a business. You see, you don't even need to respond and tell them, oh, if you don't like it my way, why don't you go do your own fucking gym? They're not going to. They don't know what it is. They don't know what it costs. They don't know the time and effort that it is. People don't understand of how much more time. You see, sometimes it is better for you to work for someone that's corporate because you work from nine to five and that's how you like to work and you like to take orders and all that other stuff. Now, this there's no nine to five when you own something. It's 24 hours. Now, do your 24 times seven. That's the amount of hours that you got to put in every day, Monday through Sunday, Monday through Monday, like I like to say, all the time, every day, paying attention, watching everything, fixing everything, improving everything always trying to please someone and you can't please everyone and people are going to leave and people are going to complain there's no parking there's no this there's no that there's no someone is always going to complain about something there is nothing perfect they'll complain about the next place and the next place and the next place and in reality the complaint is within themselves because they're not happy with anything that they encounter. They're always complaining about something. A person will always complain. Now, if a person's always complaining about, I don't go to LA Fitness because you can't use the machines. It's too dirty. It's like this. They're wearing jeans. They're doing this. They got glasses on. They got this. Then they come to yours. It's too hot. It's too cold. There's no shower. There's no this. There's no sauna. There's no weights. There's not enough. There's not a 200 pound dumbbells. I don't know who the fuck is carrying 200 pound dumbbells. Okay. So there's no 300. They're always going to complain about something. People aren't ever going to be satisfied. People aren't always going to be happy and you cannot please everybody you do you you do what's best for you you created it you had the goal you had the dream you had the vision you had the money you put it all together you do you the ones who don't like it like it says out in the door leave your ego outside let them go 
you cannot keep everyone you cannot please everyone that's the way life is people are going to go where they want people are going to want to go to a more high maintenance place people want to be catered a specific way people want to sweat people want to be hot people like the old school look people like the rugged people like the maintenance the pampering the massage there's room for everyone out there guys there is so many different locations that's why there's so many things it's like a restaurant you go to a restaurant you want colombian food you want cuban food you want puerto rican food you want um nicaraguense you want this you want tacos you want mexican you want that you want american you want steak you want whatever you want there's there's for everyone there's for everyone it's the same like in this industry there's a home for everybody i can keep going all day i can keep fucking kicking you the real deal we can keep talking shit i'm gonna leave it there i hope you guys have a beautiful day follow my girl right here nicole that's my videographer. She takes care of everything. Follow me right here, Big Dog. <laughs> and if you want to follow me on YouTube, Eddie Morris, Big Dog in the motherfucking house. And I'm out this motherfucker. Peace. What it do? Go on, tell me how you feel. Uh -huh. Chilling with the Big Dog. Uh -huh. Giving you the real deal. No lies or gimmicks. Keep it authentic. Uh -huh. It's time to turn up. Yeah, it's time to get it. Hey.